please use the message to tell me what you hear and whether you Okay, I get the feedback that the sound is not good. Let me try something else. Is it better now? Perfect. Can you see me? Okay. So I get the feedback that you don't see me, and this is okay because, okay, I have a question already. So let me start. Uh, good evening, welcome. Uh, welcome to the third week of the Creative Business Instincts course devoted to business communication. My name is Jelena Janowska, and I'm your uh, lecturer for this part of the course. So we will use today's webinar to clarify all the issues that you have regarding the course, but also to discuss important aspects related to business communication. Uh, before uh, this uh, webinar, we have tested how it works, and we figured out that it's impossible to have the video um, connection for some reason. So you will be just hearing me during today's presentation but uh, you will have the opportunity to uh, write down everything that uh, you want to exchange with me or with other students, any questions that you might have. I see the question from Anita, who is asking about the expectations about assignment four. Unfortunately, assignment four is uh, with the other lecture, uh, so you will have to address my colleague directly for questions related to this assignment. I will be speaking to you about assignment number six, which is part of this last module, of the module devoted to business communication. But let us start this journey of today's uh, lecture, today's exchange, to see what we are going to discuss and how it will be organized. And at the end, you will have uh, the possibility to ask about anything that is not clear from this module and also anything that you're interested about related to the topic of business communication. So I will start with the presentation. I just need a confirmation from you that you see the presentation. I will be moving one slide now so that you confirm that whether this works, whether this is okay. Hello, do we hear each other? Nothing changed, so you don't see the objectives of the webinar on the slide. So it is no longer the cover slide, but it is the first slide. Okay. Uh, what you should see right now is the slide called Objectives of the Webinar. Please confirm if you see it. If not, I will tell you all these things that are on the slide. You don't see it. Okay. Uh, I see it moving. You don't see it moving. I would ask Alexander to help somehow. Okay, I'm trying something. I hope now it will change. I think that now you see the objectives of the webinar. Yes, perfect. Okay, so the first slide is about the objectives. I want to clarify what we are going to do in the 45 minutes that we have available tonight. Uh, we will get to know each other, who we are and uh, who I am and how we are going to organize around this module. We will discuss the importance of business communication. We will clarify the objectives and tasks for week three of the course. 
we will discuss the assignment. Basically, this is the last assignment that you are going to have within this course. And at the end, we are going to address all open issues that you have, all the questions that you might have for discussion. I will tell you a few words about myself. Uh, obviously, you cannot see me, but I put a picture intentionally so that you see who is talking to you. My name is Yelena Janowska. I'm a lecturer in the High School of uh, Journalism and Public Relations. Uh, otherwise, I work as communications professional, and I have more than 17 years of experience in international organization. Currently, I'm working as the Knowledge and Communications Manager for the Network of Associations of Local Authorities of Southeast Europe, which covers the territory of 12 countries of Southeast Europe. Before that, I was the UN Communications Officer, so all my life I have been dealing with communications, with business communications, crisis communications, and public relations. I'm also for more than 10 years a university lecturer and practitioner in business communication, PR and crisis communication and also a trainer and consultant in various organizational development topics starting from doing needs assessment of what the organization needs up to doing the evaluation of the interventions that have been done within that organization. Everything relating to it, communication but also strategic planning, implementation of plans, business planning, etc. And here you also have my contact email for any questions that you might have related to the topic, related to your assignment or anything related to this week of the course. Please address me at jjjanovska at yahoo.com. I will start this discussion with a question. Why we need business communication? And I try to illustrate it with a simple cartoon of Mike. It says that Mike shows great work results, but he obviously lacks some human skills. These human skills are exactly what we are going to talk about within this week of the course. We are going to explore how to improve these human skills and how these human skills have, can make you a better professional and how this can make your organization more successful in what it is doing in achieving its mission and vision. I have a question for you now, how much of your time at work you spend communicating? Please use the chat, please use the messenger to write percentage. Assess what you do at your current workplace, previous workplace, or if you have no work experience at all, then try to imagine how much of the time per day you spend communicating. 100%. I'm an operator as well as a web admin on social media. Perfect. So professional business communication is your profession, actually. I'm a teacher, so all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Somebody else? Yeah, what you said uh, here uh, within our discussion is exactly what the studies are confirming. So I will spend some minutes to try to convey the message why business communication is important. Most of us recognize it, usually when we apply for a new job and when testing your communication skills is part of that process. But some of the people underestimate the importance of business communication until they are caught in an unpleasant situation at the workplace. Why is it so? Because organizations are consistent of people. And organization success is much related to behavior, to behavior of these people at the workplace. So the organization, uh, the people that work in it, their behavior are preconditions for the success in what the organization is doing. There is a quote by Robert Kent, the former dean of Harvard Business School, who says, in business, communication is everything. And researches prove this. Researches prove that communication skills are crucial for the existence and the success of the organizations, but also for the success of individuals working in these organizations. There are some researches that show that managers spend 75 to 80 percent of their time engaged in some form of written or oral communication. Uh, communication skills are usually in this group of soft skills, uh, which are let's say, second range of skills that you need for the success at a workplace, but they prove to be the critical link be between the core organizational functions. So 
This is why they are that much essential in the professional life. I will give you three reasons why good communication is important. This is only a menu. This is not an extensive list of everything that you can say about the importance of communication. However, I find these three very, very important. The first one is that ineffective communication is very expensive. And the managers who are managing people with poor communication skills are those that can witness this the best. Imagine if you have a colleague or employee that is unable to write clearly, that is unable to formulate a good business offer, that is unable to organize and uh, facilitate a meeting, that is unable to solve a uh, dispute in, in the process of communicating with partners, let's say, etc. So hiring today is not possible without communication skills. If you try to analyze the announcements, the, the open calls for applications for any position, you would, uh, with no doubt, see that as part of the description, communication skills are one of the essential skills that are required for the job openings. Promotion is also not possible without communication skills. Some people can make it into the market, into the organization, uh, even without having the best communication skills. But during the first couple of days, it will become obvious that this is a serious deficiency. That's why American businesses spend 3.1 billion annually just training people how to write. We will discuss it further that writing skills are one of the essences of uh, good business communication skills, but you see how important it is that you compensate for the deficiency that uh, the human resources have when they enter your organization. And one more information from this research is one third of salaried employees in large American companies have some type of writing responsibility. The second reason that I would like to emphasize is the challenging uh, and changing environment and increasing complexity of the 21st century workplace that makes communication essential for organizational success. Organizations are not as they used to be 30, 50, or even 10 years ago. The flatter organizations are now our reality, which means that managers communicate with many different people, and many of those people are not their uh, part of their team. They are not uh, they are not responsible for these people. So organizations really become much much flatter than they used to be uh, compared to the hierarchical uh, organizations uh, that we used to have before. Uh, along these lines, the days of just ordering people are gone. Now all these autocratic management models are replaced by participatory management, which is not 100% true, of course, because you have different management styles, but still the tendency is that um, uh, participatory management is what you would see in the modern organizations, in the modern companies, associations, etc. And this system of uh, management is based on building trust, promoting understanding, empowering people, and motivating others to give their best and also to develop at the workplace. Uh, together with all these tendencies, uh, you would hear that Teamwork is the most important part of development and functioning of organizations. Everything we do is around team building, it's around teamwork, it's around team tasks, uh, team achievements in the end of the day, team results. And also, 21st century has brought a more diverse employment base than ever, along all possible lines, age, ethnical origin, race, abilities, gender, sexual orientation, all these differences are putting additional challenge in managing organizations because they require higher level of communication skills in order to be able to work with all these differences that you would find out in your team. And last, oops, sorry, when we are, I just wanted to see whether you are still with me and break this down with a small cartoon. Uh, please take a look for one minute. What can be the result of lacking good teamwork and communication as a key precondition for good teamwork? 
Yeah, and that is why we lift on three, the doctor says. This is what happens to many organizations nowadays. The deficiency that they have in communication will show effect on the result that the organization achieves. So when we say that today organizations are built of teams, what is teamwork if it's not communication? How can team work without good business communication skills? I see Anita writing, so I will wait a second for to see her message. What do you think about the teamwork on Eproofman and other such online programs? Huh, very interesting question. Um, you will see when you are going through the materials of business communication that communication has different aspects, different elements. There are three basically types of communication, the verbal, the nonverbal, and vocal communication. So with such programs, online programs, you are missing one important aspect of communication. And then successful completion of such programs requires that you have sophisticated uh, other types of communication that will compensate for the lack of visual, visual communication. So this is one of the uh, disadvantages that online learning programs have. So this is the deficiency that uh, eProfman and all other learning programs have, but it can be compensated with uh, very good organization and very good uh, compensation for the visual momentum with all other. And here uh, the writing skills and uh, business correspondence in general play a very important role. When it comes to teamwork, there are two aspects related to improvement. One is the teachers, the teaching staff, and the other one uh, is the teamwork that happens within, uh, within the groups of students. I cannot comment too much about that one because the only assignment I have given to you for this uh, part of the course is individual assignment. So probably my colleague would be able to comment more on your teamwork and yourself also directly on your teamwork related to your projects where you had a task to do something in teams. When it comes to communicating um, online with the colleagues, I would say that the business writing is the most important skill. I hope I satisfied your interest about how it works with online programs. If you have anything else, Anita, please feel free to, to ask or to comment. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go on for the third reason. This was just a short break to see whether you're following me and to just break the monotony of <laughs> these, these slides. The third reason is that we are becoming increasingly global. The world's economy, actually everything around us, not only the economy, is becoming increasingly global. We eat Italian pasta, drive French cars, drink German beer, wear Chinese shirts, Turkish trousers, whatever which means that all products, national products, are competing in international markets, which is again one more complication in the way they do business. If you want to see it as a complication, I would see it as a positive challenge that will force people to become better in what they do and in particularly in um, how they communicate because communicating nationally is quite different than communication in communication com communicating internationally in the international scenes with different uh, types of uh, clients you might have so that that emphasize again the role of the communication and another trend in the last many years i would say are the foreign direct investments which are very important part of uh, the uh, economic scene of all our countries and uh, foreign investors coming to the countries bring something and also take something. And this is all done through communication. It's important that the employees uh, master their communication skills, but it is also important for the direct foreign direct investors uh, to adjust to the context of communicating in the country and accepting the ways of doing business in the country or justifying it or modifying it in a way. I hope that this, with, with these uh, slides until now, I convince you about the importance of business communication and why it is important that every single individual invests in his or her communication skills 
even from the school years, so to be ready to get the labor market with all these skills and then be aware of what uh, are his or her deficiencies that he or she needs to improve during the process of um, developing through the career. Uh, just to sum up what is business communication, it is any communication that is used to build partnership. Oh, sorry. I did something that that closed my presentation. So any uh, communication that is used to build partnership, intellectual resources, promote an idea, product, service, or an organization. And in the end of the day, the objective is to create value for your business. But along all these lines that I, I, I'll be mentioning now. There are two very important aspects of business communication, and the first one is often neglected by companies, that is the internal communication. Internal communication encompasses communication of corporate vision, strategies, plans. So it is important that people in the organization know what we are standing for, what we aim at, and how do we want to achieve that, so that everybody in the organization speaks the same voice. Also here we have the corporate culture, the shared values and guiding principles, the motivation of employees, cross-pollination of ideas, etc. So it's a huge hub of things that are to be done within the organization. And I always say that in good, effective and efficient internal communication is a key precondition for external communication. I wouldn't believe in all these stories about uh, spinning, about uh, public relations uh, without solid base in the internal communication. So please, at your workplace, put if you are managers or if you aim to become managers or even if you are not, please advocate to your colleagues that internal communication is the key aspect when it um, comes to building good image for the organization. And then comes the external communication which includes branding, marketing, advertising, customer relations, public relations, media relations, negotiations, etc., etc., that is related uh, to everything you do to the outside world, how you present your organization in front of the outside world. So everything that you are going to read and learn and think about within this module of the course will be related to these two aspects. How you shape your professional individual skills related to business communication to be applied in these two business contexts, or even to be leader in these two business contexts. Then, because of all these things that we have said until now, I will just summarize some of the key elements of business communication, what we need to master in order to be able to swim in the business world. That is the, the meaning of effective communication, what it is about, how it happens, what can hinder effective communication, and how to overcome all these barriers. The listening skills, something that is very often neglected in the business world, even in the private world as well. Listening skills are the basics for good communication skills. So they are as important as uh, uh, verbal and nonverbal communication are. So next is the verbal and nonverbal communication, the way we communicate with words and the way we communicate with our body language. Then the self-presentation, very important aspect, how we present ourselves, what impressions do we create? Because as it is said, there is no second chance to create a positive first impression. Business correspondence or business writing, one of the essential business skills. Presentation skills, very important skill. Using the telephone, although very often underestimated, uh, the way uh, for uh, the way you use telephone is often the way you create your first impression. Email as well, audio and visual aids in the modern world with all the information and communications technologies we have around. It is very important how you use the audio and visual aids. Interviewing as part of the human resources management process and organization of meetings. I have pointed out as this several, some 10 elements as the most important things to learn. So we have limited time within our course, within the week, 
Um, that's my next slide. But uh, you cannot master all these things. So I have made a selection of what we can do in one week. So the focus of this week would be the importance and objectives of business communication, the key factors for effective business communication, the types of business communication, and mastering some of the business communication skills, mostly related to internal work, uh, organizational work, organization of meetings, and writing skills. These are the things around which I centered this week of the online course. However, you have plenty of additional resources that are given with you the, this e-course that you are free to use and I would encourage you to use in order to further develop beyond this week of our cooperation along the lines of this course. What do you have as material? Probably you have already opened the third week of the course and you have seen that there uh, we have several books. One of these books is uh, mandatory, not the whole, but some chapters. I have selected some chapters that I would uh, recommend that you read. There are also several other books that you might, might use as additional resource. There is a handout and there is another material related to case studies of certain small businesses. There is a video. There is a quiz that was developed specially for this course that doesn't aim that much to uh, evaluate what you know, but to motivate you to learn more. So the quiz is made in a form that you can do it as much as you wish, but uh, the process of taking the quiz and going from the beginning to the end is a uh, process of learning. You need to read something, you need to watch a video, you need, you need to think about something, etc or use the knowledge you have gained from reading the books and handouts to respond to the questions of the quiz. And last but not the least is the assignment. I was bombarded with your emails from all the postings you had for all the assignments within this course. So I know that it is overwhelming having that many assignments in three weeks course. Therefore, we have decided that you have only one assignment within this week, this week within this module and I will tell you more about it now. So the objective of this assignment, assignment number six, is to do analysis of the business communication in a certain context. Uh, I suggest that you select an organization, institution, uh, business uh, around, uh, that is familiar to you, something that happens around you. Either that is an organization or a company that you work with, or it is a company that you have worked with before, or you have contacts with, or, you, or, or, or is publicly known so you can dig into what they do and how they do things so that you can provide an analysis. The objective of this assignment is that uh, we see uh, how you understand all the material that we have provided along the, uh, to, together, including the readings, including the quiz and all the things that we have encompassed within the materials within this course. And we see what is your critical opinion about ability uh, to analyze situation in a certain organization or company. And most important, the recommendations for improving the business communication for bigger success of that business. So this is an individual work. You are expected to do it individually. Use as many resources that you can. Uh, we propose that you do a blog. You use the course to uh, write a blog, which will be no more than two pages. It's around 1,000 words. I won't be that strict about it. If you feel that you need more, feel free to use more. However, one of the principles of good business writing is keep it short and simple. So I would like you not only to analyze the situation of that business that you are going to discuss, uh, but also to show uh, in practice your business skills, in particular your writing skills. So please bear this in mind. Then the structure. Um, this is small paper, two, three pages. So I would propose that it has brief introduction, uh, just presenting the context of the business, what it is about, what they do, how they do things, what's your contact with that business, how you know about them. Was it direct experience or reading or hearing about them? 
Providing analysis of the situation, what's the current situation, and a set of brief recommendations what should be improved in this organization when it comes to improving the business communication. Today, basically, we start the week uh, for this part of the course, and you will have the whole week to read the materials, do the quiz, watch the videos, and all uh, other things relating to the course. And then the deadline for submitting the assignment is Sunday. 24th of September 2017. And this will count up to 30% of the total course score. I hope this is all clear, that this was inspiring for you so that you start the journey towards improving your business communication skills within this module. And now uh, I would like to thank you for the attention up to now, to the questions and discussions that we have had until now, and give the floor to you. So it is your turn now. Please feel free to use the, use the messengers to ask any questions related to the topic of business communication, to the materials that we have within this course, assignment, or anything else that you are interested about and that falls within the portfolio of this aspect of the course. All clear, very creative assignment and very close to my working environment, says Anita. Thank you, Anita, very much. Feel free during this week to contact me via email about anything that you're interested about. Looking forward to writing it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Anybody else? Okay, I will give you some uh, several minutes more for any questions, discussions that you might have. We have some seven to ten minutes more from the time we have planned for this uh, webinar, so please feel free to use it if you feel appropriate. I just want to check with everybody else. I have seen some 13 participants in this webinar just to make clear that you can all hear me and that you all follow the presentation. Could you please confirm? Yeah, everything was okay, confirmed, perfect. Yes, okay, good. That means that you don't have any questions, that you'd have, you don't have any doubts about the topic, that you don't have any open issues that you would like to address, which is perfectly okay. I won't force you to do that at this very moment. Feel free while reading the materials, doing the assignment, to contact me at any time. So I'm available. I'll write down again my email in the chat so that you have it and you can copy it directly. Okay, then I'll close this webinar. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you luck. I wish that you enjoy this travel in the business communication learning world as I enjoy it during it, doing, doing it all my life. <laughs> and I hope that this will significantly influence the way you communicate at your workplace, but believe me, it will also influence how you communicate in your private environment. Have a nice evening, enjoy the course, and talk to you. Bye-bye.